You know, our concepts are basically the same. We want to do some passive motion palpation, and we also want to do some end field testing. We'll, we'll start with the segments from C1 um, that would really be down to C7. Okay, so we can lay our fingers on the spinuses. And we can take her, now we're going to use the head as our lever system to move the cervical spine. And I can check her into flexion. And again, the spine just should separate. They should come together. There should be a smooth gliding motion. I shouldn't feel any clicking or clunking or staggered motion. That's, that's a bad thing. That's a sign of instability. I can rotate her, right? Feeling the spine is rotate. When I loudly flex her, which way should the spine just go now? Towards the direction of Opposite. Opposite. That's right. Because now it's, cause it's different than the lumbar spine. So now they rotate opposite the side of lateral flexion. I could, could I rotate her this way and feel the spinuses? And rotate her this way? And which way should the spinuses go when I go right lateral flexion? Right. Go to the right. Okay. Left. 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 Okay. So, passive motion palpation, off, you know, using the spinuses. Did you do some passive motion palpation using the, the set lamina area? Yeah. You could flex and extend, still do your, do your same six directions. To rotate, when I do right rotation, what's happening on her right, sorry, left rotation, what's happening on her right side? Separate. They're gliding, aren't they? It's like a stair-stepping effect. So the top segment is going a little bit farther than the one below. As these facets are going in a P to A direction, these are coming back A to P. Right. So I should be able to feel this sort of stair-stepping effect. And if I come back the other way, I should be able to feel that, that facet glide P to A. I can also laterally flex. I should feel a C-shaped curve coming in. Right. Nice and smooth lateral flexion. So passive motion palpation from the spinuses or the lamina facet area. End field testing. All right, I'm going to take a nice soft pincher grip. Come on the facets, drop your head forward. I'm going to follow it through. Spring on the facets. Ask her if it's tender. Anything there? Help, I'll bring her back into extension. I'm going to spring on the facets. Anything there? And if it is, you want to know which side, right? You're trying to figure out which side is the dysfunctional side. Coming into rotation, if I go into left rotation, I'm going to spring on her right facet. I sometimes I'll reinforce that finger with another finger behind it. Anything there? So that would have been left rotation, right side P to A. Here's right lateral flexion. Anything there? Here's right rotation, left side P to A. And left lateral flexion coming from left to right, springing across, challenging the motion I'm creating. Okay, so there's my contacts for end feel at the motion segment. Did you do A to P rotation? Mm -hmm. This as well? No. No, okay, that's more advanced anyway. All right, so we'll leave that for, for something for later, for down the road as they say. Any questions about either pump or end field testing? In the